While researching hydroponics, you might have thought, can we grow saffron hydroponically? Let's try to answer that question and let's have a look at how it works. You can grow saffron hydroponically by using two methods. The first method is a trough system and the second one is a Dutch bucket system. The first primarily thing to grow saffron is to have a setup of pole house or greenhouse. Generally growing saffron becomes more successful where you have a location temperature very low somewhere in a bracket of minus 5 to 10 degrees Celsius. But if you are trying to grow saffron at a very high temperature level location, in these areas the temperature is high and relative humidity is also high. The major issue in such areas can be considered as that it could not be more economically feasible for the first two years. Generally, the bulb of saffron is pretty much costly. For one acre of land, nearly 80,000 to 98,000 saffron bulbs will be required. But only after four to five years, the bulbs start multiplying the production. So, after a few years, the entire operation will become more profitable in the hydroponic system. Waiting for four to five years will not be economically feasible for you for two reasons. The first reason behind this is that the cost of management becomes higher due to controlling the temperature. The second reason is the labor cost, because during this period the labor costing becomes very high and even after five years it doesn't become that profitable and it will be hard to recover the capital as well as an operational investment during this tenure. So growing saffron will be technically successful, but from the business point of view, if it is possible for you to wait for four to five years and consider ROI, then only it could be sensible to grow saffron hydroponically. Many of the companies have already started growing saffron hydroponically, but a huge number of business companies are not interested to do so. The basic reason behind this is the profitability curve, because it requires more period. Even though the profitability curves increase, it will not be sufficient because it is very difficult to cover up your break-even period or waiting period. My advice to you is that don't choose to grow saffron hydroponically, because the people who live in the Himalayas, the Kashmir region are blessed with the climate condition, where the temperature is naturally low, and it grows within the soil itself. And also the production quality is pretty good, as well as the quality of saffron is quite good and it would be difficult to mimic in hotter regions. You can learn more about setting up your commercially successful hydroponic farm with us. Do check out hydroponicmasterclass.com. I have added the link in the description as well. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get upcoming videos on hydroponic growing to become commercially successful in this domain. Also, consider pressing the like button on this video. It will help us understand should we continue making more videos like this or not. See you in the next video with another interesting topic and hidden secrets of hydroponics.